a narrow dark place, nine months of lonely journey. This is how all our lives began. Please watch this video completely to understand how tough was our journey inside our mother's womb. The amazing process of two invisible cells becoming a baby and how was a baby's life before entering this world. About 20 to 300 million sperms released from male enters the female vulva. The sperm is the smallest cell in the body. All the genetic information about father is stored in the form of DNA in the head part of the sperm. The middle part consists of mitochondria, which gives the sperm the energy it needs to survive and travel. The longer tail part allows the sperm to swim and move forward. In female, one egg is released every month. The egg is the largest cell in the human body. It contains genetic information about a woman. The 300 million sperms released from the male navigate toward the fertile egg by detecting its scent. This journey of the smallest cell of the body trying to reach the largest cell in the female is long and challenging path. The climate in the vulva is not so favorable for sperms. Within 30 minutes of sperm entry, 99% of sperm dies. That are too weak to tolerate the environment as some sperms are not strong and healthy enough. Having healthy sperm is super important. Sperm health is not just essential for conceiving but it plays an important role on health of overall pregnancy and possibly the baby's health. Sperm release during when a man is stressed or ill can have an impact on the health of unborn child. So at least during the days of planning, it is recommended to have good diet and exercise. Avoid smoking and consuming alcohol. Taking vitamin supplements and stress-free conditions will help in releasing strong, healthy, and energetic sperm. While most of the sperms die, only about 100,000 sperms will be heading into uterus. This journey of sperm is about 6 inches long and only about 200 sperms survive in this environment, which are strong and active can finally reach the egg. So only one of the approximately 300 million sperms become successful. In different words, today our existence has started from one successful sperm out of 300 million. All the DNA in the sperm will be combined with the DNA in the egg. Based on both genetic code, the appearance, intelligence and personality of unborn child are all decided. If you want to know more about DNA, I have already made a video about it, please check it out. Sperm from father consists of some X chromosomes and Y chromosome. The egg released in the mother contains only X chromosome. Now, if a sperm with an X chromosome is combined with the X chromosome of the egg, the unborn child will be a girl. If the egg with the X chromosome combines with the Y chromosome of the sperm, the unborn child will be a boy. So it is clear that the gender of the unborn baby is decided by the chromosomes of the sperm from the male. After the sperm enters the egg, the egg starts to fertilize. The fertilized egg is called zygote. The zygote divides into two cells after 12 hours. The cells divide once every 12 hours. After three days of fertilization, the zygote forms a ball shape with 32 cells. The egg travels down the fallopian tube from the ovary and finds a safe place in the walls of uterus where it's going to stay for 9 months. At this point, the fetus will begin to grow. This division continues until the cell continues to divide and become approximately 2 trillion cells. All the cells are constantly dividing, where the zygote that was round in shape will start to transform its shape. The nerve cells start to develop in 15 days, which helps in spinal cord and brain formation of the baby. These little organs need blood and oxygen, which are supplied by the heart. So within 22 days, some cells combine together to form a heart. At this point, the heart will be in a size of a poppy seed used in our kitchen. First, one cell in this heart starts beating. Under the influence of this vibration, the cell next to it also starts beating. With this chain reaction, all cells get activated and the heart starts beating completely. From this point, the heart beats a few hundred billion times without stopping until we die. This little heart starts supplying blood and oxygen to the fetus. By 4 weeks, the fetus starts growing at a rate of 1 mm per day. At 5 weeks, the baby will have the fastest growth rate. Hypothetically, the baby will weigh 1.5 tons if same growth rate is maintained all 9 months. So the growth rate slows down at later stage. By 7 weeks, the legs and arms develop slowly along with the nose and retina in the eyes. At 8 weeks, the fetus will transform into a human shape surrounded by amniotic fluid. The most important of all is placenta which provides oxygen and nutrients to the growing baby through umbilical cord. The cord is sometimes called baby's supply line because it carries the baby's blood back and forth between the baby and placenta. 
At 9 weeks, the mother begins to experience nausea, vomiting and anxiety while the brain in the baby develops at rapid pace, which means 25 million new neurons are developing in the brain every minute. Now the mother has to provide blood not only to herself but also to the baby so the heart rate of the mother increases. Even the baby's heart beats at a rate of 165 times per minute. This rate decreases to 120 to 150 as the fetus grows. Now 12 weeks which means 3 months have passed and the fetus is 10 cm long. At this stage the baby begins to develop bones and muscles. At 13 weeks the fingerprints of the baby will be developing. As we all know these fingerprints do not match with anybody else in the world. If the baby is a girl then about 2 million eggs are produced in the baby's ovary during this time which will be released every month after she matures. By 14 weeks the baby starts to suck thumb. The study showed that all unborn babies sucking their right thumb eventually becomes right-handed and those sucking left thumb in the womb becomes left-handed. By 15 weeks the baby is about the size of an apple. and the brain controls the muscles in the body by 16 weeks the baby starts to move and the mother is able to detect the movements of the baby in the womb by 20 weeks the baby is about the size of a banana the bones harden and the umbilical cord becomes thicker by the time 24 weeks have passed almost all organs are made up but in very small size the baby will be about the size of a corn cob to accommodate baby's growth mother's internal organs begin to adjust the belly size gets bigger bearing many side effects including back aches, heartburn, fatigue and sleep loss. During this time the baby's nose and mouth are filled with amniotic fluid. The baby opens its eyes but can't see anything as it is completely dark but can listen to the sound of the mother's heartbeat, breathing, mother's voice and as well as some outside sound. By 26 weeks breathing becomes challenging to the mother as the belly gets bigger the lungs will have only a little space for expansion on the other hand the baby needs oxygen too so the mother has to breathe heavy during this time the baby swallows about half a liter of amniotic fluid every day just to get into the habit of swallowing food on its own after the birth the baby's lungs are full of amniotic fluid around 33 weeks the baby will be gaining weight as fat builds up in the body This weight falls on the mother's spinal cord causing back pain. The mother will not be able to sleep properly due to uncomfortable position resulting in fatigue. By 34 weeks the baby's nervous system in the brain and lungs will be developing. By 35 weeks as is almost the time the baby starts to feel uncomfortable and starts to go head down position on its own. During this time the baby spends 90% of its time asleep. 36 weeks that is 9 months completed. and all cervical muscles will be preparing for delivery that could happen any time a cell that started smaller than a grain of a sand 9 months ago has now become a baby ready for delivery the time has arrived mother's brain releases the desired hormones and prepares the body for delivery the inner muscles of the uterus are pressed together pushing the baby out at the same time the birth canal dilates and allows the baby to come out during this time unbearable pain occurs and a mother's suffering cannot be described in words First the baby's head then the whole body comes out the baby enters from one wall to the other being in the dark until then the baby starts to see lights it has never seen around and hear sounds it has never heard for the very first time baby inhales air which were filled with amniotic fluid till then Since the umbilical cord will be disconnected from placenta the baby is no longer dependent on mother for food and oxygen and should be on its own that is how a new creature is born on this earth lastly i want to sell you to all mothers in the world who has carried our weight for 9 months bearing all the pain struggle suffocation and challenges it doesn't make sense to ignore our mother all year and just put a status on social media on mother's day mother's love is priceless and unconditional they don't expect much but only about 5 minutes of a good talk a day out of our busy life our existence may have started by accident winning one sperm out of 300 million but a mother is the one who brought us safely to the earth after so many sacrifices if such a mother is ignored all i can say is a wrong sperm has won the race okay friends If you like this video please like and share it with your dear ones subscribe to my channel ask me why for more upcoming interesting videos activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive a notification as soon as the video is uploaded thank you